AutoCAD is used by engineers and precision is very important for any engineer and his drawings. So how do we ensure the precision as far as drawing using AutoCAD is concerned? Here you can use the input method which is coordinate system. As you all know that a two dimensional plane can be represented using Cartesian coordinates or by using polar coordinates. Both these coordinate systems work perfectly in AutoCAD system. How do you refer a Cartesian coordinates? It's simple x comma y. As you can see here in the bottom left corner there is a x axis and there is a y axis and definitely there should be a origin and this represents the origin. This is the universal origin or universal coordinate system and this is your origin available here. Now let us start drawing from the origin. If I want to start a line from the origin, I type L and then I press enter or I can use the space bar. As you can see, it has activated the line command just like same way as you activated using clicking this button. Now I cannot pick the exact 0, 0 just like this. I need precision. So what I would do is I give my precise point 0, 0 enter and as you can see the line has started from the origin. Now let me go and make a line of say 100 mm in the x direction. So how can I make it? I have to select the next point and the next point is 100 comma 0. So when I type it comes in the command prompt automatically. I do not have to uh, go and click on the command prompt every time I type anything. Whenever you type anything, it automatically comes onto the command prompt. So now here I give 100 comma 0. Press enter. So you must be wondering, so I can't see that line. The cursor is having a tail pretty much from its origin. Well, it is zoomed to that extent. That is why it is not coming. And as you know, you can always use the center mouse button to zoom into whatever that you have drawn. So let me come out of the command. Now I would like to zoom into whatever that I have drawn in the coordinate system. So for that I just have to double click the center mouse button and here it is the 100 mm long line is visible. This method of zooming everything whatever that you have drawn onto the fitting view is called zoom all and it can also be accessed using the command prompt with the help of the command Z that is from short key for zoom and A the next option that is all. Now if I want to start from this point again I have to start with my precise input. So let me start a line command again. I type L press enter or press space bar. Now I just want to start from this end point. One of the easiest method is to switch on the snap mode. Now object snap a very important feature in AutoCAD and as you can see here in the status bar it is lying over here and it is switched on and the fast key for switching on and off the O snap or the object snap is F3 in your keyboard. So if you see there is a small arrow just near to that clicking on that will show which all geometric entities can be snapped onto. Now let me select the end point here it is already ticked so it always takes the end points of any entity like arc line or now once that is done and you come near to that end point you can see it becomes a square green box and it is written end point so i can click and it snaps on to the end point of the line now if I want to draw only horizontal and vertical lines, it becomes much easy for me if I use the command called ortho snap. And the ortho snap can be switched on and switched off with the help of F8 button. And it is available in the status bar right here. So when I press this F8, either it gets switched on or switched off. The blue, as I mentioned in the last video, represents the switched on mode. Now you can see my cursor is followed only in the 
perpendicular directions. Let me tell you how to draw these lines very simply with the help of ortho mode. Now I want say 200 mm towards the upper direction that is in the positive y direction. I keep my mouse in that particular direction where my line I need and then type the length 200 enter and yes I have my 200 mm long line. Now I want to come to the left hand side so I keep my mouse onto the left hand side and type 100 and there you go it is on the left hand side of the previous line and finally I want I would like to snap onto the end point so I can click it and press escape to come out of the command. So I have a rectangle here whose dimensions are 100 and 200 mm respectively. Now let me clear my workspace again. Now for any drawing we need to pick up lines, we need to pick up points. So how to pick up these points? One of the method I have already shown you that is by giving the Cartesian coordinates in x comma y format. As I have already mentioned to you we also get cylindrical coordinate systems as well in AutoCAD. So let us see how these points are picked up. Now let me start the line command again and let me start from the origin 0 comma 0. Now I will switch off the ortho mode for some time so that I can draw my line in a flexible way. Now let me draw a rectangle to make a border of the size of a A4 sheet. A4 sheets are generally of the size 210 mm by 297 mm. So I need 210 mm in the x direction and 297 mm in the y direction. So let us start drawing that here. So my next coordinate point would be 210 comma 0. Now I would like to go vertically up 297 mm. How to do that? In AutoCAD you can refer the coordinate as say 210 comma 297 and it picks up that point. And if say for example you have made a mistake always you have an option of undo available right in the command prompt. Either you can click it here or you can use the short key Ctrl Z which is universal in Windows based systems. Now let me go ahead and draw the vertical line in a different manner and that is nothing but relative referencing. Right now my mouse pointer is logged on to 210,0 and from this point I have to go all the way 297mm to the top. So for relative referencing I have to type at the rate 0 that is I do not want to go anywhere in the x direction I just want to go only in the y direction so x will be 0 comma y will be 297. So that fixes exactly that point. Let us see how to draw this horizontal line here. We are using relative referencing. I will type at the rate I have to come in the negative x direction from the current point and from the current point the negative x direction is minus 210 comma and in the y direction I need not go anywhere so comma 0 enter and there you go I have my line. Now if you want to close a polygon all that you have to do is use this close command which is available right in the window or you can just type C if you closely watch C is highlighted in blue. So just type C and press enter and it comes out of the command as well. So as you can see now you have your rectangle which is of an A4 size. Now we should restrict all our drawings within this A4 size sheet. Now let me draw a margin of 10 mm each in each side for the same drawing sheet. So for that let me start my line command again l enter 10 mm both in the x and in the y direction I need a margin. So let me start with 10 comma 10. Now let me use the polar coordinate system to draw the margins. So polar coordinate system 
automatically requires you to type the at the rate in front of the coordinate system that you want to use so at the rate you want to go how many mm in this direction that is your radius and at what angle that is what you are supposed to give as the input when you are giving in the polar coordinate system so at the rate so i need to leave 10 mm on the left hand side and 10 mm on the right hand side so basically from 2 10 mm i am just leaving 10 mm each leaving me with 190 mm at the rate 190 less than the angle and the angle is always measured in the counterclockwise direction measured from the positive x axis so here the angle is 0 so less than symbol 0 as you can see it has drawn now from here I will again type at the rate I have to go 297 mm minus 10 mm in the top and 10 mm already there is a 10 mm which is left in the bottom so 297 minus 20 will be 277 so I will type at the rate 277 less than 90 degrees as you see it has come now I want it to come in this direction there are two methods for the same one is giving at the rate 190 less than 180 that is 190 mm long line measured at an angle of 180 degrees 180 means from the positive x axis it is in coming to the negative x axis so either you can give this or let me give you another way at the rate minus 190 less than 0 and there you go so either i have to use minus uh, in the radius or i have to give the angle properly now from here i'll just type c and press enter and it will close interesting thing to note about autocad is that whenever you execute a command the last done step comes just above the command prompt and it stays there for a couple of seconds and then only it vanishes off so you can always have a cross check whether what i have done is correct or wrong so with these many commands so let me wind up this video thank you for watching have a nice day